Good morning everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Um, I am heading into London today. I have got an event this morning with Joma Jewelry. And then, whilst I'm in London, I thought I would film a bit of a come shopping with me. I'm thinking let's head into And Other Stories and Zara, perhaps. But it is 7.20, heading to the station now to head into London, go to the event first, and then we will go shopping. Oh. <laughs> like genuinely, and I'm like, no, 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 you can't, you can't, because it's not about seeing something. It's about empowering yourself to be the best version of yourself that exists. For every single one of you, there is another version of of you that exists, dormant, and more empowered, and more confident, and more inspired, and more aligned version of you. And really, manifesting is about bringing that version of yourself to life and becoming your higher self. I've tried on two pairs of trousers, these brown, um, like kind of flared smart trousers, which just didn't look right on, and also some leather trousers. Again, they were too small and they didn't have the bigger size. So I'm just gonna try on some jackets and jumpers I've picked up. Um, and the first one, I picked up this like, kind of uh, teddy bomber jacket obsessed like oh my gosh love it so much this is a size small um it's just so nice i really like it with the outfit that i've got on actually oh by the way today i'm wearing my mango um like faux croc leather trousers and then my zara striped um, jumper but i really really love this over the top and i don't actually have any bomber jackets in my wardrobe um but i think this is really really nice Okay, so next up is a trench coat, and I find in spring that I live in trench coats. They're one of my favorite spring wardrobe pieces, and I've got a couple of kind of beigey, kind of, you know, classic trench color coats. But this color I saw in the shop, I thought, so nice, it's still very versatile, like the cream ones, but I would say it's like, got more of a green, hint to it it's so so nice and this fits really nice actually um i can't remember what size i'm wearing but i will leave it linked down below but it just fits kind of in all the right places it's the perfect length for reference i'm five foot four when coming to look at the size of this um i've just found this inside pocket how amazing i love that i love like pockets and especially inside pockets oh by the way if you're noticing what was going on with my nails i've got a bit of nail art i was on a shoot yesterday um a beauty shoot and they wanted my nails like this so this is how they did them and i just haven't taken them off yet um i've also just noticed that this is a size 34 and what i would say with and other story sizing is that i find their trousers come up really small um but then their kind of jackets and jumpers and things come up quite oversized a 34 i think is a size 8 which in stories i never get anything under a size 36 it did feel like a bit tight on my arms and i probably wouldn't be able to get a thicker jump up um under it so it would definitely go up a size um but yeah that's quite i'd say that's quite generous on the sizing compared to their trousers these jumpers are one of my favorite things from this store they always bring them out every year and in so many different colors I've got a few colours at home, but I don't have the white 
and I love it. The only thing that I know is gonna annoy me is getting makeup on this neckline, but it's just gonna be one of those pieces that you're probably gonna have to wash every time you wear it. Um, but it's just such a good basic to pop under things. And I think having a nice white, like thin knit, I mean, this is, it's not super thin, it's not super thick, nice like in the middle. Having a white one for spring, I think will be really good for kind of like layering under a trench coat. And I'm actually just gonna pop this jacket over the top. I love this color. I love it. I love it. The neck works so nicely with this collar here. How gorgeous. And also it's always little details that I love. Like I like that it's gold poppers. Quite often you'll see like silver poppers, but I think that the gold are kind of more subtle with the green and work so well. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. I love that it's like quilted and padded, but not with the kind of traditional quilted pattern. It's got this gorgeous like flowery like pattern. I've actually just tucked the jumper in and I love it even more. I don't like buying things in store because I hate carrying it around, like I hate carrying stuff on the train home. Um, but what I'm gonna do is take photos of all the labels of things that I potentially wanna buy when I get home. So of course I'll link all of these pieces down below for you. Okay, you know I'm not usually one for loads of color, but coming into the spring, I do love adding pops of soft color to my wardrobe. And pink is always one I do go for, like a really gorgeous pink, blue, maybe a bit of green, um, and this is so nice. So it's the same style as the white jumper that I showed you earlier, but just in this really gorgeous like candy floss pink, and they're so, so soft as well. And these jumpers are 35 pounds, which I think are really, really reasonable. Um, I've got some camel ones that I've had for years, and just get so much wear out of them. Um, and I'm actually gonna pop the green jacket over this. I think if you like kind of wearing lots of color, I think green and pink go really nicely together. And I think that with perhaps a pair of like white jeans or cream jeans, I think the white bottoms would really lift this outfit and give it a really lovely spring feel. My final thing to try on is this really gorgeous striped jumper. You know I'm obsessed with stripes at the minute and this is a much more of like a spring vibe. Instead of like white and black stripes, I love the kind of soft beige and white stripes. Um, so such a nice high neck jumper and also again this isn't too thick so it will be really nice in the springtime I absolutely love this so I am back home now and had such a lovely like morning and early afternoon in London I didn't really explain what was going on earlier um, but I attended an event with Joma Jewelry and it was for the launch of their zodiac um, like star sign collection and to kind of coincide with that, they had the wonderful Roxy Nafusi doing um, a speech and like a meditation. And it was so amazing. I really find her like, so inspiring and I love her book. I listen to like loads of her podcasts and her being interviewed a lot. So I am kind of familiar with the seven steps that she has to kind of living a better life, like your best life. I'm a really slow reader, so it's taken me a while to get through the book. So I'm actually thinking of downloading the audio book instead to like digest it quicker. But although I've um, heard her talk about it a lot, I still want to fully read the book. So I actually think I might get the audio book. <laughs> So it's actually been a week since I last picked up the vlogging camera um, and last week I went into Out of the Stories on, um, I was going to say Oxford Street, it's actually not on Oxford Street, it's like on Regent Street um, and I was going to go into more shops um, when I was there, but I didn't and I came home and I've done some online orders So I'm still going to show you a couple of bits from H&M I actually did a little H&M home order as well and also I've done a Zara order I haven't ordered from Zara in so long um, so I ordered like a few new spring pieces Which I'm going to show you in a sec, but first of all, I've got a box here from H&M home Oh, okay, so oh, I think it was like 2020 
uh yeah like whilst we were in lockdown i was like obsessed with h&m home i think i bought like every vase that they bought out it got too far the vases were out of control so it really reined in um so i've only got a few little bits here i didn't go too wild um but the first thing is that gonna balance yeah first thing that i got are the cutest little easter decorations they're like little uh paper i don't even know what to call them like little paper eggs um but i thought that they would look really cute hanging on uh the twigs in the corner there or perhaps if i did like a little like table arrangement they would just look quite cute and i really like the colors there's two green like two creamy kind of ones and then two like brown brownish ones so i thought they were so cute also i missed out on the christmas ones um like their Christmas paper decorations that I really wanted. So I made sure I got those. Okay, so then next up, of course, I did order a vase. I mean, can you do a H&M home shop without ordering a vase? I don't think so. And also, I know how quickly stuff sells out on H&M home. So I do have that panic in me that if I don't buy it now, then it will probably sell out and I won't ever be able to get it. So I just ordered it, but let's have a little look this is smaller than i thought i thought this was going to be much bigger oh it is beautiful though it's like a textured vase you know what it's actually like um you know the textured vases that i've been doing with like the bicarbonate but this is a bit different but kind of similar vibe i really really do like it but what i'm gonna do is have a little play around um to see if i can make it work because is it big enough? I basically had envisioned like some like little twigs and things in there, but I just don't know if it's too small for that. I need to have a little play around, but I do really like that. And then within like the same range, they had a few different things. Um, I think they had a plant pot and they had a smaller vase as well. So I picked up the smaller vase too. So many boxes. Okay, I think I much prefer this how cool is this so it's exactly the same like color and texture but like slightly more i'm gonna to use the word dumpier do you know what i mean like more like it's like wider at the bottom and shorter and um, but this would look so nice with some like dried little grasses or something in so i'm thinking that i might return this but keep this but again i need to like have a little play around and kind of make sure that it works um i actually think that is it let me see on my receipt yeah and i got a jacket as well i'll show you that in a sec so just price wise the little easter decorations were 8.99 the tall vase was 24.99 and then the smaller vase was 8.99 is that right i find it like that was 25 pounds and this was nine pounds i feel like either this is super cheap or like this is expensive i feel like there's quite a big price difference between two products that like aren't that much different in size i don't know is that me or am i just being weird or so now i'm going to get my zara box and let's try on some zara bits that i've got and also the h&m jacket i'm literally living in trainers at the minute and i'm still obsessed with the new balance 327s and I got this colour from Office. Absolutely love them. I think this would be so, so nice for spring. Like lots of white and cream jean outfits. That kind of thing. Really like them. They're super lightweight and so, so comfortable. Okay, so first thing in my little Zara haul is this super soft little set. You know me, I love these kind of comfy sets, um, but they're not just for home. I wear trousers out like this all the time. I'd probably wear this with like white tee. Are we in focus? Yeah. Uh, white tee, like leather jacket. You can definitely wear these out as well. And on top is like the cutest little cardi, which would look so nice with a pair of like blue jeans and little sandals, like um, in the spring love it absolutely love it i'm wearing a size small in both and of course i will leave all of the like reference numbers below they are high-waisted you know me i'm not going to wear trousers that are not high-waisted and they're just so so nice love it 
Okay, next up, I'm not sure what I was thinking when I picked this up. I mean, it, it's cute, but it is not my style at all. Like, it's super skimpy. Yeah, it's just not for me. It is cute, as I said, but yeah, not for me. I thought it was going to be, like, longer and looser, but it's not. <laughs> okay, so this is much more my style. You know I love stripes. I've got a lot of stripe knits, so I need to think about this one. However, in spring, I know I will be living in stripe knits. They're just a really nice, easy throw on, and I feel like this would go with like blue jeans really nicely. The only thing I'm not 100% sure on are these pockets. I mean, they're quite subtle anyway, but they are there. Not sure, what do you think? Also, it is slightly longer. I have just rolled it under there. Really, really love this outfit for spring. Um, so the blazer is from Zara and it's um, such a gorgeous blazer. It really is so nice. I wouldn't say, like it's actually got quite a lot of like structure and shape to it. It's got some padding in the shoulder um, and it's not like super oversized. Um, potentially if you wanted it more oversized, you could definitely go up one. Um, these aren't that new, but the trousers are from Me and M, and T is from Naked Fashion. Yeah, I have just got my little slippers on, but this would look so nice, yeah, with some cream Birkenstocks or like trainers or something. Okay, I absolutely love this gorgeous trench. It's so so beautiful. It feels so like premium. I think perhaps like the design of it with these tiny little flowers, it feels like it could be designer, like really high end, but it's just good old Zara. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. How pretty is it? Absolutely love it. This will be so, so pretty for spring. I've just paired it with my Me and M roll neck, same black trousers. And again, will be cute with like trainers and Birkenstocks. I am obsessed with this shirt. It's the most gorgeous sage green color in like a linen-y fabric. It is longer, I will untuck it in just a sec. But before I untuck it, I just wanna show you these trousers. They're a really nice color and they actually fit really nicely around my waist. However, I think the pockets are like super obvious. I feel like it's more obvious in real life than on camera. And also they're way too short. Like I like a crop trouser, but these just feel like, yeah, like way too short. They just feel like pedal pushers or like my trousers have been turned up too much. So, so the trousers are a no, but the shirt is an absolute yes. I love sage green in spring and summer, it's so nice. So let me untuck it to show you the length. It's really crazy where I've just had it kind of twisted up, but I just get so much wear from linen shirts in the summer. A basket bag and linen shirt, probably my favorite summer items. And how I just had it then was, it's hard to do with one hand, but basically you just twist the bottom of the shirt and then just tuck this twist into, tricky one-handed, into like your bra band. And then you kind of get this cute little knot. Another spring summer piece that I absolutely love. How beautiful is this? It's so, so stunning. I love embroidery on glaze. Is that how you say it? It's always like my favorite, like spring and summer pattern. It's just stunning. This is no exception. It's so beautiful. It's slightly longer. Um, and what I love on holiday is wearing shirts like undone over bikinis and things like that. My final item from Zara is this, it looks cute, like black kind of wrap top, but this material is beyond itchy. Oh my gosh, it's so itchy. I don't know like why it's just so itchy. And this part on my forearm is super tight. Like I just feel like I can't move very much in it because it's tight in weird areas. It's itchy and it's it's not the one for me. This bow is like on a little popper. It's kind of cute, but like it's it won't go this way. It's just kind of sitting at an angle, and I'm I'm not really sure on that vibe. So this is a no from me. There's oversized and then there's oversized. I mean, I'm not sure. Like this is a size small. It did say it was oversized, and to be fair, I do like the oversized fit. I just think perhaps it needs like a jumper. I need to put that me and M jumper. It needs like a neck, I think, because wearing two things with the same neckline, I don't think is very, like it doesn't do anything for the jacket. I think it needs like a higher neck jumper. But apart from that, 
I do kind of like it. I really like these lightweight um, little bomber jackets for spring, but I do think that this potentially is is a bit oversized. So, did I say this was from H&M? Sorry, this was the uh, item that came with my H&M home delivery. So that is it for my little shopping section. Um, I watched one of Molly May's vlogs last night. I don't know how I came across it, but I did. And she was eating a chicken Big Mac from McDonald's. Now, I've actually never had a Big Mac. And if I, and like one of the things I really like from McDonald's is a chicken mayo, but with no lettuce. But now this chicken Big Mac, like it's been on my mind and now I'm thinking, I, I think I wanna try it, but I'd have to like ask for it without lettuce. And I don't actually know what else is in there. So I need to like check because I basically like my burgers really plain. All I like in them is like cheese and mayo, like no salad. I'm actually considering taking myself on a little McDonald's date, like just through the drive-thru, but like sit in the car park and eat it. Let me know in the comments if you, if you like do a drive-thru McDonald's, do you drive home and eat it at home or do you eat it in the car park? Me and Tom always have this like debate because if we drive there, I always want to sit in the car park and eat it because it's like fresh and hot and he always wants to drive home and eat it at home. But then... I mean, the drive is like under 10 minutes, but I still think that it gets a bit cold and you need to eat it like straight away. So I'm thinking a little drive through and then a little sit in the car. I might take Bertie with me. I think that's uh, what I'm gonna do now. Okay. We have made it to the Golden Arches. Does anyone ever call it that? Um, donuts going on with my hair. I really don't know what to have. Oh my gosh, shall I get the chicken Big Mac? What shall I do? Oh, what if I, reg well, I, I won't regret it. I'm going for it. I'm going to try it. I'm nervous. I can take your order. Hiya, please could I have a chicken Big Mac, but with no, no lettuce or no gherkins, please? Uh, yeah, what drink? Um, a Coke Zero, please. Is that all? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Cheers. I've done it. Oh God, I'm excited. Okay. I've got the goods. What I like to do in the car park is get comfortable. Like I take off my seatbelt, I push my chair back. I really like want to enjoy this moment. So, oh my God, I've gone broke. I never like, I hardly ever try new things. I always get things that I know. Bertie's next to me here as well for a little verdict. Right, oh, chip. Mm. Oh my God. Why is McDonald's so good? Okay, so. Here we are, chicken Big Mac, no pickles and no lettuce. So I'm just hoping, oh my God, so it's actually, because I've never had a Big Mac, it's just like, oh, oh, there's like pick, is that a hair? Mm, it actually is. Just get that out. Oh dear, I'm hungry, I don't care. Could have done with like a touch more sauce. Okay, oh my God. It's like a, oh my God, it's massive. Uh, oh my God. Mmm. Mmm, that is good. That is good. Mmm. All I would say was, it could do with like, yeah, touch more sauce. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. This is, this is really hitting the spot. Mm. Do you eat like your burger and then the chips or is it like a burger and chip at the same time? For me, it's a burger and chip at the same time. Mm. And also, this is why I love doing things on my own. In life, I do feel like I'm quite a loner. Like I do so much on my own, but I like it because if Tom was here with me right now, we'd have to drive home to eat this and I would like to eat it here so it's hot and fresh. Um, but yeah, there's something, the, the, the coke isn't being sucked up right. What's going on? Mm. Got it. Well, I wish I got a Fanta to be honest because we have Coke Zero at home. Mm. Okay, this is pretty good. Guys, you probably watch other people's vlogs and they go to like super bougie restaurants and here I am. Not done this car park on my own. Well, no, I'm not on my own because I've got my little, my little <laughs> companion here. 
Mmm. I just got a really cheesy, saucy bit. I'm gonna sit here in the peace and quiet eating my chicken Big Mac. Um, so back from McDonald's and quick thoughts on the chicken Big Mac. I'm gonna give it like a maybe like a 6.5 because um it was a bit dry, like it definitely needed more sauce. I think that the bread bit in the middle is like, I don't know, I think that like made me feel quite full early on. Don't think that was necessary. I mean, it's part of the Big Mac, so obviously. But maybe the Big Mac style of burger is just not for me. I did enjoy it though, don't get me wrong, it was good. I also forgot to get sauce for my chips and my, it was all like a little bit dry, but it was still enjoyable. Anyway, so now I'm back home, it's just, it's just so cold. I just feel today like all cold and like like I don't want to do anything like I don't want to do anything I'm gonna make a cup of tea now to try and warm up but it just feels so cold tomorrow I am going into London to meet my friend Hayley from Frock Me I'm Famous because we're going to uh, the charity shelter they have a like boutique store in King's Cross in uh, Cold Drops Yard and we have already like me and other like bloggers have already donated loads of clothes there so they're being sold in the shelter boutique for the shelter charity and Hayley and I are just going to be there tomorrow to like help set up and um kind of just be there basically so whilst we're in London Hayley and I are going to shoot a couple of outfits so I'm really hoping that the weather is a bit better tomorrow so I need to like plan those outfits but I am not in the mood to be planning outfits so um <clears throat> the house is a bit of a mess from my from like filming and everything today so i'm gonna probably just get tidied up and then i'll plan my outfits later good morning everyone it is now saturday morning excuse the mess around me but i am just um about to leave to heading to Lon head into london uh, for the day to go to shelter as I was telling you about yesterday. So here is my outfit of the day which I really really like. I've got my new uh, New Balance trainers on that I showed you yesterday. I've got H&M uh, white straight leg jeans, uh, the Me and M jumper and then I've got the Zara trench on. It annoys me sometimes with crossbody bags and it doesn't like lay flat. Um, and then my little Strathberry bag that just, oh, I, it's just so beautiful. I just love it so much. So I'm actually going to end this vlog here because last night I was editing this vlog and it is already like half an hour long. So I'm going to leave this vlog here. Thank you so, so much. Let me turn you around so I can, so I can see you properly. Um, thank you so, so much for watching this week's vlog. Sending you all lots of love and I'll see you next week. Bye.